Today we're making a cozy Christmas or winter sign. Keep watching. I have got some floral and greenery picks here. These came from the first ones from the Dollar Tree from spring and these are some that are thrifted. These little Velcro squares, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Some thrifted black and white ribbon and some Dollar Tree ribbon. Those are both wired. This sign came in a two pack from Target originally and I got it from Dirt Cheap. And then this came from Big Lots. It was a fall sign. I colored one side a kind of a tan color and the other side is chalkboard paint. So we're going to use this side today. We're going to remove the hanger off the back. Those come off pretty easy. And position the sign down on the board. Now because I know I want a bow on the top, I'm going to need a little extra room up there for the size of the bow. Be sure when you get out your Velcro that you have one stiff side and one soft side so they'll stick together. These are peel and stick or have a sticky background but I went ahead and added a little bit of Gorilla hot glue on there also. By using the Velcro we have the option of changing the bow out. Now I'm going to use some hot glue to put the sign down. If you want yours to be interchangeable, you can always use Velcro on this as well because they're not very heavy. And then you can change your sign out. But I think I'm going to keep mine just like this. Now we're going to focus on the bow. I'm going to be taking two strips of this black and white ribbon. Probably came from Michaels or somewhere. It's a good quality, but I did get it from Goodwill. And I'm going to trim this off where it's one is two inches longer than the other ones. So I'm going to protect my fingers and put on some hot glue. And I'm just forming a loop here. I'm set that aside and let it dry and I will work on the next loop. Same thing here. A little bit of glue. Press it together and just let it do its thing. Now I'm going to layer the bow and this is why you need the different sizes. It's stacked and you can see both layers. This final bow is going to be this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. We're going to do the same thing with this and it is of course going to be a couple of inches smaller than the other. Just loops, such an easy bow to make. So now we're going to stack up those rings. The glue is cooled and they're all ready. We're going to stack them up. My first attempt I was having a little trouble getting it all in my hand, but if at first you don't succeed, right? Try, try again. So here we go. I have it all in there now. I'm going to grab a zip tie. You can use white or black or any color that you have. It won't matter because it's going to be covered. 
I'm not going to tighten it all the way quite yet. I'm going to fold the bow and make sure that it's in the center. And since it was not tightened all the way, I could slip it down a little bit and get it in the center. Now we can tighten it up. Clip off the extra. a simple enough way to make a very pretty bow. So you can make a loop and glue that in the center if you want. You can leave it wide if you want, but I decided that I wanted mine to be a little more opaque and thinner. So folding it in half gave me that look. I'm going to wrap it a little bit and put some hot glue on there. When you're doing this, uh, it would probably be best for you to push that zip tie closure to the bottom of the bow where the tails are going to be, because if you don't, it's going to make it a little bit bulky. And I did not slip mine all the way down. And yeah, hindsight, but it turned out fine. It, but I think it would be better if you, it would lay flatter, you know, the other way. Now we're going to make tails for the bow. And I'm making about six inch on each side. So that's a 12 inch piece. Just kind of kind of fold it over on itself with both of the printed sides showing. And then just with a scrap of jute, I'm going to tie this in a double knot. I was clearly distracted when I was doing this because my fingers forgot what I was doing. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. But yeah, finally. Oh, the, and there we go. There we go. Now we have a knot. So you're going to trim off the extra. And that's how it's going to look. Now we have to put our polka dot piece on. So we're going to do another tail. It's going to be 10 inches because it, you want it to be a little bit shorter than what we used on the bottom. And because this is a stiffer ribbon, I didn't have to tie it. It will fold down and, and lay flat on its own without being held. Little hot glue and just attach those together. Same thing here. A little bit of hot glue and attach it. I went ahead and clipped mine together so it won't come undone while I am trying to do the ends of my ribbon. So to give it a more finished look, dovetails are the thing and it's easy to do. So cutting from the outside inward and upward to get those pretty little V's. And for safety reasons, be sure that you cut away from yourself and not toward your hand. It's because I love you that I tell you these things. All right. So that looks pretty good so far. I think that'll do. Now it's time to put the other side of that Velcro down. So I'm just going to use the glue again, just a little, and press it down. You want to try to get that on a flat surface because the more coverage, the more contact with the surface that you're putting it on, the better it's going to hold. And once it is dry, you can go ahead and attach it to the top of the board. Look how pretty! You could actually leave that exactly like it is if you wanted. But you know me and my rustic love for all things rustic. I'm going to add some things here. I want to show you what uh, some options are here. So you can use anything that looks snowy, or white. If you want to keep this neutral, you know, you want to stick to your creams and whites and greens. 
but I've decided instead of using those that I want to try something different. I'm going to take my two pieces of greenery and bind them together with the full wire. Make sure you twist these where the snowy part, if you have snowy or frosted pieces that you have that side upward, that you have the correct side upward. So that's why you see me messing around with it so much. Got it. I'm trying to get it exactly how I want it. And they're wired, but they also have like a plastic on them, and so they slip around a little bit sometimes. So this was in a pack of, I think, Christmas tree ornaments that I got from Dirt Cheap many years ago. It was a bag of them. And I know I want to use that with this. It matches well with the wood trim. So I'm just cutting off all the little extra pieces there. And then I thought, hey, just to lighten that up a little bit, this berry vine that I got from Dollar Tree would work pretty well, I think. And so actually when I opened it up, I was surprised to see it's in two pieces, which believe me, makes it a lot more manageable. So there, now I have some for another project. So you do get quite a bit of this. At first I thought I could just maybe just make a wreath with this. So I wound it around my hand to form a wreath to see how that looked by itself. So you can certainly do it this way if you don't have the miniature vine wreath over there. You could certainly do it this way. And I'll show you what that looks like. But I like it being a little thicker. So I am going to take this and wrap it all the way around. Be sure when you wrap it that you have an equal amount going around the wreath and then clip off your excess. And I think that'll do it. So I apologize for this being a little bit blurry. It's a little out of focus here, but I, I wanted to show you how I just poked the floral wire through the wreath so that I could attach it down on to this greenery. Sometimes when you use hot glue on stuff like this, it doesn't get a good hold and it'll just pop right off. And this is an easy enough solution to make it stay until you want it to come off. And because it's green, you don't notice it at all. You just poke the wires behind it and you don't even notice it. So I'm gonna put it on the bottom. I thought the snowflake would be cute in the middle. Since it says, let's stay home, the snowflake seemed appropriate. Gonna add some glue there, and there's some glue underneath to hold it to the frame. And this is the final result. I really, really like this. I can't wait to get to the other side of the sign and, and see what we wanna do with that. I'm not sure yet, but Maybe something with a little more color so it's a little more versatile. Thanks for coming by. I hope you subscribe if you like budget-friendly DIYs. We've got lots more coming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.